that man seemed um it it was I liked it. Let's get that out of the way. I liked it. It 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 definitely it definitely seemed more gritty. Is um one of the things I liked about it is that he didn't have a whole division in Wayne Enterprises giving him a perfect suit so you can tell where he just patchworked some suit together. Um It just didn't look polished. And I I really, really appreciate the fact that it just didn't look polished. Way more gritty than usual. You know, because usually it's a dark Gotham with haze, but this was like gritty, like in the mud with it. Very, very good. I, I enjoyed it. I was so excited because it was the first movie I'd seen after two years of being banned from the uh, movie theaters with the whole cold thing, but so maybe I was just excited to be into the movie theater, but it was just, it was a good feel. I had nachos, I had candy, I had popcorn, and I was just ready for it. And, it, and they brought they brought it, man. Very good movie. I mean, I feel like it's going to usher in people going back to the movies. So I'm, I, w- I was all for it. I like that his love interest is attractive. Okay, because the last one, we go back to the, you think of the last, uh, the Keith Ledger Joker, that love interest in that movie, she just wasn't all that hot to me. She just wasn't all that hot to me. And we're talking about personality, body shape. She just wasn't all that, like, you're trying to, like, she's the sexy one. I didn't get that from her at all. At all. But this one? Senorita, Cynthia's fingers, you know, Grande Chichis, it was most bueno. I'll tell you, it was, it was, it was, it, she was hot. Uh, my old lady said it was Lenny Kravitz's daughter, Lenny Kravitz and uh, Lisa Bonet's daughter. So she, she had actual, you know, she had a, um, why do I always forget this actress's name when she was literally the one my whole childhood? What's her name? Catwoman back in the day. That's too far back. <laughs> Holly, Berry. Holly Berry. She had a Holly Berry throwback situation going. You understand that? Because that girl that, that Two-Face was fighting over in the Heath Ledger joint, whack. She just wasn't, she just, what she didn't just, I'm not saying that she's not a physically attractive woman. She didn't give off sex appeal. She just was like, she looked like she was a public defender. Like, she looked like if you went and got in trouble in Iowa, she would defend you. That's how she looked. Like, she was too good for the part. At the same time, she's supposed to be billionaire Wayne's sex interest. I'm not believing that. And she got two cats on her. I ain't believing that. So, nah, Dougie. But this one, she was, she was, she was hot in the butt cheeks. You know, she was edgy. I thought she was uh she was pitching for both teams. Or I thought that she was, you know, uh, uh um she was in the women. That's what I thought, but maybe I I just got the signals mixed up or I have a dirty mind. I don't know. But I thought that her and the other cat was, you know what I'm saying, swapping spit, but come to find out on the lousy they won't doing that. You know what I'm saying? And then she was like, oh, for my man's and them. And he was like, yo, shoddy, stop. You know what I'm saying? But then she was like, no, nah, I'm going to get to you. And then he was like, look, I got stuff to do. That's another thing I want to point out. They did not overdo the deep voice on Batman this time. Because usually it's like, I'll let you know, Gordon. It's like, it's like, it's so forced. Now he just, he just talked like, nah. You know this? I don't know it like that. Like, he just talked normal. You can't tell that I'm not listening. Right, right. Like, if you can't get it, then that's your business. Like, I'm not here to convince you that I'm some dark, tortured soul. He just was laid back. Like, nah, man. Like, yo, let's go check the whip in the back. You feel me? Like, right, let's go check it. He was, It was cool.
if, if you got all these words, you got to get on the mic. Like, you can't just kind of just do it. Like, they can't see you. Just, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got nothing going on. I do have something. Move that out of the way. Take a seat. Because my thing about her, she long-winded. So it's like, really? you really are, though. What's up, everyone? This is the one that has to deal with him on a day and night and everything in between bases. Simply put, what is his name? I know it's like Patterson. Yeah, we know he played in Twilight. He was the main character in that's Twilight. That's where he's from? Yeah, that's what he's from. He's uh, Bella's love interest. You know, Bella's... You know what? I'll give him some credit. He aged well for Twilight. Yeah. No, they be looking a mess. Yeah, later. yeah. And, and Twilight is what fifteen years ago. Yeah, yeah. So he stayed off the drugs. Yeah, yeah. He's basically um, the main character in Twilight and and all the sequential ones after that. But um, quick side note, quick side note. He did good in this, but he ruined the vampire genre. Twilight ruined the vampire genre. So he. He, I still got a bone to pick about that. Like, if I ever see him in L.A., I'm going to confront him about it. So, uh, that's just, it ain't going to be a Will Smith smack, but it's definitely going to be a conversation. You feel me? So, he, uh, the story for me. No spoilers. Uh, no spoilers. It was long-winded. Maybe I feel like our thigh meat just, <laughs> our movie watching thigh meat is tender right now. Just to laying down. Yeah. Our stamina for uh, movies, I mean, tops an hour 15 minutes. Right. <laughs> We're so used to going into epics and watching episodes for 48 minutes at a time that something for two hours and 15 minutes, oh, that's a stretch. So, because I, I didn't want to get up because it was very, very good as far as keeping my interest and my attention, but man, was I struggling. Oh, like, man. Yeah, <laughs> but the movie was good. It was, it was very good, but I feel like it was a two part series. Right, right. We should split this up. It been, I was waiting for the to be continued. Because <laughs> we ran out of there, and you know, sometimes now they put little Easter eggs at the end when the credits. You was like, I'll just watch it on Twitter. <laughs> Somebody's <laughs> going to tell I'll us. Make what. it on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. But he did very well. Um, as far as Batman, that's what I was really critiquing. I was like, you know, is he as good as the others? And he was. He they have so this movie, it's dark, but it's um up to date with what's current in the times now. So there's a lot of diversity inclusion. There's um there's really not anything like racism or anything like that. It's more crime based, but you can definitely tell that this was an inclusive, diverse, um, it touched on things that are not immediate in today's world right now. And I think they did that to just give it a breath of fresh air. But it was, it felt very comic booky. Like, I feel like this story was in a comic book. That's how well it was put together. Um, Marvel started to get preachy. Yeah, right. So um, this has that, uh, if I had to compare it, it's... Uh, Star Trekky, right, right, yeah, just the feel, yeah, Star Trekky. Like anyone can get with it, uh, cause we sat next to a group of um, young college girls, and they were into it. Like they, had they, covers. They, <laughs> they had covers, and they, everyone, you know, followed the story along. But the uh, characters, Penguin, his character was really cool. His was dope. I liked the Penguin character they had. Um, the Riddler was uh, dark. dark. It was. It was. Very refreshing in what they did. So Batman, I thought was going to be, eh, no, they they brung it. So uh, kudos to them. And I think his name is, I feel like his name is Christian Patterson. Yeah, y'all, y'all comment. Yeah, tell us what his name is. Um, but he did very well. And yes, she is very gorgeous, the Catwoman. But that's, I told you, Lisa Bonet and Lenny Kravitz. I mean, she looks just like Lisa Bonet. Do you think she's hotter than Keith Ledger's? Heath, Heath Ledger, uh, Two Face, love interest. So, yeah, <laughs> I mean, but okay. So the last one was Anne Hathaway. 
the girl with the big eyes, brown hair. I like her as an actress. She's one of those actresses that you don't expect for her to do combative roles or be like a, cause you know, she did like, what is it? Get shorty. Do you remember that with the rock and Steve Carell? I mean, I get shorty. Um, yeah, I think it is get shorty. Okay. So Steve Carell is a FBI agent. Remember? Yeah, like I spy or something like that. Oh, right, right. She's that. he was yelling in the bubble, but the yeah. bubble didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> so she's in that, okay. right? And um, she's also in The Devil Wears Prada. She, Ooh. yeah. So she's a great actress, but she's one of those actresses that sh- her look is innocent and wow. coy. Yeah, but she's she kicks butt and everything. So she is a good Catwoman, but. Well, I did. You know, if you're doing Catwoman in the spirit, you know, or she wasn't Catwoman. She was Two-Faced. She was his childhood friend. But if you're going to be Bruce Wayne's love interest, you got to be not even physically attractive. You have to be seductive. You know, and I feel like Earth, the kid and all of them, they brought that. I mean, they're saying, well, that character, Catwoman, is supposed to be that way. That's why they brought that. Yeah. And I agree with that, too. It's just that she just wasn't believable. But it, it wasn't like. My man's and then was going to be pawning over you. Because it's like, you look like a real public defender. Like, you don't look like (laughs) billionaires are knocking your door down. But you, I mean, technically, okay. This Batman movie, this is not your typical storyline that they use for characters this was more so because let's put it to you this way they did actual fight scenes it wasn't too much of a whole if you hit batman and he's fighting everybody at the same time no he got hurt and he like she got hurt and there was it was no cinematography it was it was clean fights like this was not no cgi yeah no cgi like i want you to understand like this was as if I thought it was like the beginning, you know what I mean? Like when Batman was young, every time we see Batman, he's in his late thirties. It's it's off of the Halloween, the Batman Halloween comic book series. Yeah. So that's why I said, Oh, okay. Because these, yeah. Cause I mean, uh, Bruce Wayne has a grunge look. He has money. That's why, you know, it was like, wait, why is he looking dirty? I didn't get that part, but that's because he's not groomed. He he really, this is him coming into Batman. We're seeing. Yeah, he's damaged. Yeah, we're seeing if we're seeing what Batman or how Batman came to be. Because the minute he did what he did in this movie, now we can make uh, sense as to all the other Batmans being the billionaire playboy. And, you know, if you remember like Val Kilmer's Batman well, he, this dude who ruined all vampire movies. This guy who ruined all vampire movies, he ain't got it. They will have to cast a new Batman. He is not debonair and all that. He ain't going to do it, bro. No, I, He's whack. No, I agree. In that sense. I agree. Do I think you can compare them to Val Kilmer and uh, all the prior, uh, uh, even um, Christian Bale? No, because their characters, I understand that, but even Christian Bale, they did the portion of when he was young and first became in the Batman. I'm saying as from looking at both of their acting and how their style of acting, if they do come to that point in the story, I don't think he can pull off the debonair joint. I don't I really don't. I think he does the distant, quiet joint way better. Christian Bale, if it's time to get him suited up to be debonair, let's say three films from now, yeah. it ain't gonna go over well. Yeah, no, I, I don't think he is because yeah. me, I, I don't believe you. You need more people. That's how I feel about that. But other than that, it was a great movie. I hope we kept all the spoilers out of it. Oh, I forgot who else was in that. Who? Uh, ben Affleck. Yeah, boo. But that was just yeah, but nobody likes it either. So it's like <laughs> boo. That's that's, that's why. And we're moving forward. Um, no, um, that was whack. Like no one, 
I'll I tell you real quick before I get off of here. Somebody who they was mean to that did a good Joker was the, uh, the Suicide Squad Joker. He actually was really good. He actually was really good. Yeah. You know, he did the best that he could. It just was a little bit more of a corny one. The Joker in this one is like they went grotesque. Like it is something to see. But, you know, as far as what happened in the story, we kept the storyline out of it on purpose and try to give it in broad strokes as much as possible. We'll wait some time before we come in here and, so you know, really do. Yes, you should definitely go see it. It, it. If out of five stars, I would definitely give it a four. It's, it's, it's up there, but, uh, yeah, and it's just not my arrow. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm more of a 2011 Batman guy, and y'all are way in the future. And, and you know how I knew that when they were incorporating followers into the villain, villains, and they were he had accounts, and he was sounding like an influencer a little bit. I like, yeah, it's like, oh, thank you for following me. Like, why are the criminals got accounts? Like, they have influencers, Patreons, and all that. So it was like he had people with his memorabilia on. And I'm like, what is going on? But yeah, they kept it up to date. But appreciate y'all. This was a good movie. Definitely go see it. Out of five stars, it gets four, which is saying something. There's only one or two actors that can get full five star. First of all, the best actor that ever lived in the world is Anthony Hopkins. Let's just get that out away. But you're not king. Don't have me start going into it because I will, okay? So, I mean, I mean, you seen Fracture. We'll leave it alone. Anyway, we're out of here. If I thought, make sure y'all sub, understand that we do scream on Twitch at Burning Miles. So, make sure y'all go hit that. Hit the bell. We're doing social commentary, show review, movie review, horror movie, Scare Bear Nation. Just have patience. Do better. Don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs>